Hey everybody, I'm Michelle with Birdie Bloom and today we're gonna talk about these bags. And what you see here is the number 5120 shoulder pouch small. Here is um, a picture. I don't know if they were new in this photo. This photo comes from 1983, this catalog photo. And as you can see, it is pictured along with a 5130 shoulder pouch large. So we have the shoulder pouch small, which we're talking about today, and the shoulder pouch large. And if you are familiar with Vintage Coach at all, um, you might know that the 5130 is actually a station bag, which is exactly what that bag is. It just had a name change um, in 1987, that's where I noticed the name change. Here's a catalog photo of 1987, the 5130 uh, station bag, but I will really quickly here show you a station bag. We're not talking about the station bag today, the 5130, but I'm gonna show you a picture of it, kind of like, or not picture, but just show you in person, a little side by side. I don't have the strap out of this one. But yeah, so this was originally called a shoulder pouch large. Isn't that cool? Um, we'll talk more about that later, um, uh, but today we're talking about the shoulder pouch small. I, I don't know how long this bag was made for. Um, I know that they're fairly rare to find. Ironically, so this bag does not belong to me. It belongs to another person who I rehabbed it for. If you want to see the before, this this bag took me months and months to rehab. But if you want to see the before and after, I have a short that I have already posted um, that kind of just shows you what this bag looked like before. And it took me months because I slowly cleaned it and then would condition it. And then I'd clean it again and then I'd condition it. So um, basically I used a lot of saddle soap to try to lift all of the dirt um, and um, stains that were on this bag slowly. Also to get it from, it was super highly shiny. I guess the original rehabber used, uh, it smelled too, um, but the original rehabber used uh, coach conditioner, which I've already mentioned before. I don't use, a lot of rehabbers don't use it. The reason because of the silicones in it, I don't know if that is why this bag just had this really super high unnatural sheen that didn't look good. So, um, uh, yeah. So anyways, I think it looks better. It's not perfect. It's not going to be perfect, but it definitely looks much better than it did before. So check out that, um, short if you're interested, but, um, in 1994, here is a catalog photo from that. Coach, so I don't know how long this bag was made for, but I do know that in 1994, Coach reintroduced it, at least briefly, as a 5120, same number, same style number, retro shoulder pouch small. So they kind of like brought it back. I would believe, because again, this bag is rare, I don't know if I've ever technically seen a retro. It's possible that I have and just haven't noticed. Um, the retro, if it was released in 1994, it's very possible it was made in 1993. And if you follow this, you will know that in 1994 is when Coach started adding, adding the style numbers. So it's very possible if the bag was made in 1993 for a 1994 release, it still has that random registration number. So there's that. It still had leather wear on like the Coach tag and the Coach tag would have still potentially had the raw backing. So there's that. And, um, yeah, this, uh, I mean, that that's the reason. I, I don't see any differences. Uh, there might be a slight difference, and we'll talk about that in a little bit, but that could just be a switch of straps. For example, this strap, this one's definitely an earlier make. Um, the reason being, actually, let me see. Does this have made in... Yeah, this, uh, the Creed on this one has made in New York City, so definitely earlier than this one because the Creed on this one does not. And um, another unique feature I'm gonna show you right now, and it mentions it in that 1983 catalog photo that the hardware is gonna have that nautical, it's gonna be that nautical hardware. And here is what I mean by that. Let's see, can I, do you see, 
Do you see that little right here, this uh, anchor imprinted onto the hardware? That's what we mean when we say nautical hardware. So the red um, 5120 does have that. That doesn't mean this was from 1983. It could have been another time, um, but uh, some other time in the 80s. But this one's definitely earlier because this one does not have that hardware. You can see that here. It's not got any nautical imprint on it. But because just because I don't see it in other catalog photos from other years that I might have, that doesn't mean that the shoulder pouch small didn't exist. Um, it could have still have been made and sold by Coach. Um, so that's why I don't really know if this is a retro or if this is one of the original small shoulder pouches. This bag, it just, it, it has a little bit of a different leather feel. It doesn't have a made in New York City Creed, though it does have a random registration number. Um, it's very soft, uh, different color. So one reason I don't think this is a retro though, and this might not hold true for all of them, I would really love to see and know for sure that I found a retro shoulder pouch small. But let's put that catalog photo back up again. It says trim silhouette. And if you look at this photo closely, this British tan bag looks to have like white stitching. And that's what I believe they mean by the trim silhouette. And so it doesn't say it's specific to British tan. It also says there's a black and it also says there's a burgundy. I'm wondering if this retro remake could have had um, potentially a contrast stitching. Maybe, maybe not, just a theory. Uh, so pay attention. But also the strap on this one is much longer. It's 44 inches, which the retro shoulder pouch mentions a 44 inch strap. The um, 1983 catalog and other um, catalog photos that I found of the shoulder pouch small do not mention um, size of the strap, but it's more like 37 inches. So it's a little smaller, a little shorter. Okay, and not adjustable guys. Okay, well, let's try it on. Let me lower this a little bit. This is with the shoulder, uh, shorter strap. Again, it's about 37 inches. It is pretty short. Um, it can be worn crossbody. I don't know that I particularly would wear this one crossbody. It's pretty high up. I guess it just depends. But there's that. Let's do the one with the 44 inch strap. A little longer. Definitely think this can be where crossbody up. For me, I don't mind this length. I'm 5'7", have a, I guess, a normal average size torso for my height. But this is the shoulder pouch. So I did show you this bag next to the station, which you can see in that catalog folder photo. But what does this bag remind you of as well? I think it makes me think of a Murphy. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of things that can be similar to it. Uh, it, it could look like a, uh, a side pack. You know, I mean, again, the straps are completely different, or even a scooter. Those have like very similar silhouettes, right? Um, I did a, ba a video on the scooter and side pack together because people mix those two up. So could look like that. And somebody could actually post one of these as a scooter or side pack, I believe. Somebody who doesn't know what they're doing, that is definitely a potential if they do a little bit of research. But I think it also looks like a Murphy, even though totally different. Um, I just wanted to show you what the size comparison is. It's much smaller than a Murphy. You see that? So, yep, much smaller, cutie. Pretty rare bag. Um, they're not the cheapest bags that you will find because they are rare, but uh, this one will be for sale. This one is going back to its original owner. I'm sure she'll be happy to get it back. Uh, number 5120, shoulder pouch, small. There you go. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more Vintage Coach Bag Talks. I like to try to talk about bags that are not necessarily talked about often or shown. So yeah, uh, subscribe to my channel. Also, if you wanna just see more Vintage Coach, join my Facebook group. It's called Vintage Coach Eye Candy. 
and uh, yeah, relish in the pictures that people post and post your own if you're into Vintage Coach. So it's all about visualization, eye candy, and information to boot. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.